So I was like, damn, how did he learn how to do that oh, shit? He's I mean, been I, doing that. I, I know, but I haven't seen him in years. Hey, everybody, it's Friday, 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 Friday. And we are here in our studio with, uh, we got some guests. It's late. We're cranking out the last few episodes before everyone takes a little break for the holidays. Yeah. We're going to have a fun one. We're going to have a fun one. Look who we have. Here's Steven. Peter Cross, Mr. Tino Sanchez. Here's Steven Briggs' new song. Is that it? Yeah. You, all right, use the mic, you two guys. Since Steven Briggs' new song. Grace's tits look amazing right now. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> we got Diaz Mackey in the house. Uh, this is a horrible mic situation. I'm supposed to be leaning over Tino's lap every time I need to say it. Yeah, we needed another mic for you guys, or you just move that to like right in between y'all. We'll figure it out. I'll just have the volume up so you guys can talk. And Grace, uh, Tina's correct. Your tits look amazing. Oh, thank uh, you. You're down there. I appreciate that. Your Sunday school teacher did them. So. <laughs> you're, well, it's actually a true story. So. Um, so, but, so, so Grace, Grace, you have a you're well mic'd, but you're only on Diaz Mackey's camera in the corner, which is fine. No, he's got one right here. She's Some got people oh, say I'm well mic'd. We got one. All right, and Gotham, yeah, sit oh, down at the can, thing so yeah. we can we can put I'll you in the mix. There he right is. There's Gotham. Gotham's is back. For, uh, for there he is, Gotham's 666, and also at Satanish Studios. You can still give us a little bit of music, just not too loud. And oh, then, okay. uh, we're still I'd doing like to call it the yeah, Sweet Tanish All right. Studios. And we have this our This looks like iPhone. a room in the movie great. Hostel. Yeah, that's Good. Like... I'm glad. Mm. It is. There you go. This sounds like the soundtrack for the movie. The, this is what they were doing when they were taking out Chinese girls' eyeballs with blow torches. They were yeah, listening to this music, awesome. listening to Rammstein. You know, it's really crazy. Yeah, it's all fake. It was Penny like Poison. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, Penny does yeah. have that. Actually, Penny, you could you could you could stand to lower the camera a little bit so there's not so much headroom, and then zoom a little bit so there's more. Uh, and the cat, the, the kitty cat is beautiful, but you're more important. So let's make that happen. It's a fact. The great Penny Poison, entertainer extraordinaire, greatest live show in Las and Vegas. Just some squids this last week. You did. <laughs> She's been doing the squid show like once a month. A lot. You get yeah. you get paid really well for that. I hope. Yep. Yeah, sometimes. But I mean, if we have, if we're if doing it's it a for friend, someone it's different. different. Thing. Yeah. The idea is you want as much as much penny in the camera as possible and as much not other stuff. I'll let you figure that out. We're in lashes. All right, here we are. We're chilling. It's late night. We got we got a nice little team of people. We're gonna talk some shit. There we are. We're with uh, yeah. There's Tina. Tino, what's going on in California, bro? What the fuck? Why are you not Why are you not masked? That's what I want to know. You're gonna infect all of us, dude. It's really not cool. No, I went out to LA a couple weeks ago for my friend's podcast, but I haven't really been there. It was raging Sam Tripoli? It's been like a year. Yeah. yeah. I've been going out with him, but I haven't really been doing anything in LA. You and Sam Tripoli are going out now? Yeah. Yeah, are you guys like, like going? Steady? Yeah, yeah, my mom you guys was. Gone steady. <laughs> my mom would say, "Are you guys an yeah. item now?" An item. So uh, I, I, I'm, I talked to Sam Tripoli at Skankfest. Yeah, I was able to use you as a name drop to get in there and not be too creepy. It was. Oh, wait, it was, I didn't see you. I was there. I was. Oh, I, I, I didn't hang out with him a couple nights. Yeah, yeah. I did the same thing to get into Skankfest that I do at open mics. I just followed Diaz Mackey. Yeah, <laughs> just followed him right in to the show. And then Imagine sinking so low to use Tino as a name drop. So. Yeah, that's 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 rude. I'm joking. Who's, yeah, they, that's yeah. mean, okay. honey. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to business. Why are we name? We say mean things to each other. What is? I don't know. Oh, Maybe. no one ever sees our Just texts. Just remember that blowing out my candle doesn't make your shine any brighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey, blow out my candle out of my ass and into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Diaz, you're kind of quiet over there. Yeah, I'm uh, adjusting. He's waiting, he's waiting for <laughs> his timing. I'm trying to warm up. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think of our, our weird little studio we got here? I mean, this I, is turning. It's turning into something. He, this guy build. When I'm not here, he builds on it a little bit every day. It's like it's like a Lego project that he's slowly. Yeah. I don't know. It's, he's like one of those aliens where they just build the nest in whatever space station they take I'm just over. I'm surprised <laughs> that it doesn't That's, smell like squirt, like the way that she was talking about it. I, 
It doesn't oh, smell like squirt at all. <laughs> Wiped you, it up. What, 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 Actually, it's funny. What's we just filmed. Pee. We filmed no, an no, anal no. scene right before you well, guys wait, got right here. Wait, wait. Are you saying <laughs> squirt is not pee? Squirt is not pee. It's a whole okay. different liquid. Okay. Now, sometimes okay. it might have a hint of pee. I don't give a fuck okay. what it is. Okay, do this. Do this. Next time you're going to, before you're going to make your girl squirt, give her asparagus. And that conversation is done. Well, that is, just comes I out don't know virus. about that. When you but. piss, you smell it out of you. You, you smell that asparagus. So asparagus there piss. is one thing. That's when you, you piss, smell when you make a girl squirt if she's eating asparagus before you, you went. You go. You do the deed. What do the they fucking care they at the same DS. time? He's, he's very loud and he's not. So. I'm not complaining. Yeah. I'm just saying. But that I shit have smell like drink coffee. You fucking I, do it. My piss will smell like coffee. But when I squirt, it does not. It tastes like Skittles. So Skittles. I don't Skittles. Know. fuck out of oh here. Goodness. Yeah. I haven't Ask tasted, him. Oh, Ask I haven't him. tasted any squirt he, that tasted good. I have. Really? I have. Absolutely. Absolutely. I haven't tasted any that tasted bad. Oh, good for you. Hmm. Yeah, well, good your sense you. of smell goes when you're on coke. We're actually trying to. <laughs> for Herbal Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Herbal <laughs> Hannah Soaps, which is also sponsoring this show. You guys got sponsors? Yeah. Kind of. Um, well, HerbalHannah.com We're working on it. is actually some. taking in my squirt to make oh, a maybe, uh, soap that seafood smells and just like on. my squirt. So, <laughs> make a soap out of your squirt? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, she's a chemist. She's a chemist and she makes good soap. Yeah. And uh, we we're, were just going to mess around with the idea of just... You uh, make soap? No, not no. her. So our spot? Our, our buddy, uh, Hannah. And, is uh, is that whole Fight Club thing true with the fat? No. Well, we have that. Right, jump right have, to that. We I don't. Mean, you think I have all that information in just because... Did you see Fight Club? Yeah. I mean, to be so honest... stealing the fat from the liposuction and making soap. I'm wondering oh. if that was to, true. To be clear, yeah. we don't know if Sasquatch and Hannah are breaking into liposuction clinics and stealing the fat like fight we true. don't know if that's how they're My getting question it is, is i'm that still true? tripping out over making a squirt soap i'm like oh yeah we well, make a we're lot just of weird things out here. As an ingredient, that, and you film need, the process you need of doing make, so. You that's need, how you get COVID. What you need? To, <laughs> <laughs> you need COVID. to. You need to make a candle like like. Um, Gwyneth yeah. Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> you make a candle like her, and then we can yeah, you know scent her, the whole room. You know what her pussy properly. smells like? It smells like Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, mm. I bet it does. It smells like Matt Damon. I still wonder if somebody's house burnt down. And they're like, oh, look at the culprit. And it was like, oh, it was this pussy canted, uh, like, Please. scented cell. Uh, uh, p- pussy candle. scented candle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I do. That was a good point. Why don't we, we should, Wait, somebody should. Gotta, somebody it had should, to help her up the rest of those stairs. Some, so. some, yeah, what <laughs> is Who comes up with the smell? Like, what? how do you create that fucking smell where it's like, oh, this is great. And, and who's to, like, say that that's actually what she smells like? Like, you would have to, like, right, exactly. smell her pussy. And You're just like, gonna have to oh, take their fucking crazy. word for it. Dude, with the long right. hair, I haven't seen Jay with the long hair. He looks like Danzig's like special needs brother. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, get along with the friend. <laughs> oh, Tino. Getting gothic Fabio recently too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would like John anyway. Wick. And, what do you think the body count is on Gwyneth Paltrow's candles? I mean, because candles do kill a lot of people. They do. She's probably got some bodies on that candle by now. Um, I would think maybe like candles six. burn people down every year is what you're saying. Yeah, mm-hmm. they catch on drapes and shit. Mm. You know, you remember Pinocchio, that famous scene. Yeah. I don't they think do. People, <laughs> they, dra- you know dra- what cigarettes do? You ever notice that Geppetto's name is half of pedophile? Geppetto. You know, I I'm, I'm I know we're gonna I know we're gonna <laughs> dive in, dude. Oh, shit is going wife, shit is going crazy online right now because they Elon has flipped the script. Sam told me at Skankfest, he said that Elon Musk is Lex Luthor. What do you think about that, Tino? <laughs> oh well yeah, there's some like his mother is like got some shady background. I'm sure you know about that, right? Mm-mm. Oh yeah. Dude, that. That. Yeah, his mom is like into some dark shit. Um so who knows? But right now he's he's fucking slaying motherfuckers on Twitter, and like he got rid of that fucking scumbag reporter Roth. The oh guy, no, the guy, the guy with the. I think he's an anti-villain at the moment. Like I don't think he's the good guy. But he's hey, doing wait. Some good shit right That's now. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. And here's the thing, like all these people that are fighting the woke culture, like you've got like Shapiro fighting with. Like, uh, 
uh, Nick, who's the guy that was with Kanye, like, and Milo and all these. It's like, wait a minute. All of us can agree that we're anti-woke. So how about we put this, like the Warriors. Let's put right. a little did, fucking did, did dumb shit aside. Did, did it seem to you like Kanye West lately has just been a hand grenade that, oh, that they've yeah. been throwing oh, yeah. in? He to, said that. He said that after yeah. the interview. That interview with Gavin was great. Well, they were if saying they just that, want to burn it, burn it all down. Maybe Milo is... is in charge of that because Milo seems like an opportunist. I feel like of the uh, that Nick Flores guy though, he seems apparently he's like pretty in support of Nazis and white supremacy, right? I mean, if that's a thing, I don't know though. But no, the point no, is that this, no, these guys, everything that they've said about uh, them, I mean, if you just listen to them speak, yeah. I mean, Kanye was just saying shit to Bernie, like that's what he was saying because they were like, oh, after the uh, Alex was talking, Michael Malice just did an interview with Alex Jones. Actually, I was watching that today. And after the interview, they said, yeah, we're just trying to burn it all down. We just want to just tear everything down. Right. Um, that's what they said after that when they were talking about the Nazis. But um, Nick Fuentes, that's his last name. Yeah. Uh, no, he's, they're, like, they're like traditional <coughs> Western culture um, guys. Like they believe in family. They believe in God. They believe in community. And that makes Nick Fuentes a Mexican, I think, a Hispanic. I imagine. And a Kanye West and a gay... Uh, Brit. Guy, yeah. Gay European yeah. only fucks uh, black guys. Multiracial white supremacists. It's, yeah. a, it's a joke. Everything from the left is a fucking joke. These guys, the stuff that has made America so great, which is the Western culture, which is family, which is community, that's what they second believe in. Second Amendment. Sorry. Yeah, and, and the First and Second Amendment, uh, the, the, the Constitution... They're they're those they're when they say they're they're um, nationalists that's what they mean nationalist is not a bad word they yeah. left have made it left have made yeah, it a bad word never been a bad word well I it mean, is that's now the, that's the whole reason why they have the fucking Olympics every forty years that's yeah. a whole nationalist yeah. event like yeah. everybody's rooting for their fucking country yeah mm -hmm. but you got people getting triggered by the fucking flag if you have the flag on your car or in front of your house I mean we're we're in a really fucking weird spot man this is why i don't trust elon like it's not that i don't trust him but the re the sketchiness about him for me is it's two part one it's the Neuralink, it's the whole like anti-human right the uh, Absolutely. What, yeah. what, what do they call what do they call that the uh transhumanist Trans right yeah. so that's something supposed like, i could make you a butterfly if i wanted to make you a butterfly yeah. mm, sure right but the no but one the, suspects but the here, butterfly but here's the really obvious one for me is that he's <clears throat> trying to go to Mars and we can't go to Starbucks on the moon yet. That's that's the biggest one for me. I'm like, if, if they're, they are not fucking with the moon, they're trying to skip it and go straight to Mars. They're not fucking with the ocean. They're trying. You think it's easier to go to Mars than it is to go into the Mariana Trench? You know what I mean? <laughs> and deal with our own planet, too. Yeah, so, we still have not, or the moon landing. We don't know shit about the ocean. Yeah, yeah. But, we know but, jack shit. So I think it's like the moon, where like they know... A lot. They they know something, and they don't want us to figure it out. Because otherwise, we'd have tourism on. The, it's been a hundred years or whatever. They think we should have tourism on the moon. Why don't we? Period. Like that's. What's been a hundred years? It's been like a hundred years since we landed on the moon. So you think that what? we landed on the moon? It's, it's not been well, that no, close. No, I'm but saying you're that. Getting, I'm it's a real like, good try. My, Go back my, and practice. The, the Does everybody the, think that we landed on the moon? No, no, no. I'm no, not no. saying what we I'm, did. What I'm saying, I don't believe we did. What I don't I'm, believe it. I know what I'm not saying. I, who knows? I think and there is an interview, honestly, with Buzz Aldrin where he kind of snaps and he admits yeah. that he never went. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. All I'm saying is this, is that the proof is this. The proof is that they, the, the narrative is we went to the moon and the next logical step is to live on Mars. And that's fucking retarded because you're supposed yeah, to have yeah. like tourism set up somewhere. Yeah. Nobody does that. Like nobody's like, oh, we're just gonna. You, you can't know. even like, fucking it, live it, in Chicago right now. Why don't we fix Chicago first before well, we go to fucking. Like, okay, if, if I thought it was something to do with the pH balance if and you're, stuff like that to do with Mars. Too. I'm, just, I'm just saying if you're setting uh, up oxygen. tourism, on, if you're yeah. setting up tourism underwater. Right, you got a hotel or a restaurant that's underwater. You go watch fishes and stuff out your window, whatever. You're gonna do it at like 20 feet, then you do it at 50 feet, then you do it at like whatever, because it's okay. different every time. Good. So you're not gonna, you, we don't have tourism to the moon yet. You're gonna, you can let Lance Bass talk some shit or whatever, but we're not gonna have. I can't get a Starbucks on the way to Mars, and that's that's super sketchy to me. That's that's why. So I'm like, if he's talking about going to the moon, but he's not talking about 
doing other stuff that's way more practical. Well, I thought that they couldn't get past the Van <clears throat> Allen belt. Well, that's the one, right? They, so, oh, they why, why well, do they, you think you know what's what more practical do. than they, Elon Musk? So, uh, because can, you, because the moon first. is <laughs> closer than Mars. That's it. And they microwaved all those monkeys in the Van Allen belt. That's, right? awesome. that's, that's all the like, thought you put into it. How much thought you think Elon Musk put into it? Not that much. He's running like 10 companies and tweeting like a <laughs> coked up stripper. <laughs> Rogan's line. I stole it. I'm a hack. Yeah, I love how he's triggering people on Twitter. It's so beautiful. Well, it's it's exactly so reversed. It's, he's it's fact weird checked towards Biden. sex worker is hardcore. Like it was like, oh, no censor- censorship and stuff like that, and it's like, oh, you said cunt. Oh, we can't say that. Anymore. Really? What is the yeah. porn situation like on Twitter since Elon took over? It's been a bit rough. How how were the changes though? At like? first, it was like super cool. And whatnot, but um, well, I already got for the major porn companies stuff. and stuff like, oh, don't say this word and this and that, and then we're getting edited pretty hardcore. You said that, and this is the first uh, thing on my timeline. <laughs> uh, you you might you might maybe subscribe. But to it's different just a stuff. matter of uh, <laughs> these people were just on my shit. I just, yeah, I don't know. Let's look at that. So if, if I open mind. Twitter at all, I expect to see porn immediately. So. Obviously. Yeah, it's uh. It's still As there. It's sports. It's on my timeline in politics. But that was one <laughs> word that was like, oh, you can't use that anymore. I was like, oh, fuck. What, what do they do in Australia love, and England? So I don't like being called a bitch. I was like, call me a cunt. I was like, oh. So it came out, and it was like, okay, cunt, blah, 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 huh. over mm. and over again. And then I haven't really been blocked. cursing at people, but I've been saying shit that I don't say on Facebook. I've been fucking with people, and I haven't gotten any. Any, what do you, like warnings or what do you think is on the moon? Are you are you in the flat Earth? Are you into the, the what is the the ice wall? And the, I haven't the looked enough into flat Earth, but these people, man, they you get them talking and they're really fucking convincing, man. Are they? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it makes sense. Uh, it's the whole uh, people get confused with the fact that something can't be flat and round at the same time. If uh, there's the permanent, uh, if uh, the permanent. Uh, according to scriptures, right? God put it to a firmament. That would be the globe. Well, that's that, their that argument. Makes it that's their argument that it's like a, a dome. But uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know either way. But all I know th- is this: is what we were talking about earlier with, um, <clears throat> like now, you, if, if people who haven't been vaccinated are getting are <laughs> more susceptible, more likely to, to get, get a yeah, car, car accident. accident. Yeah, and was... that, and that, what was the other one? Uh, cold shower or. <clears throat> Shall, uh, oh no! The, all of these things that were causing um, heart attacks. I think it was cold showers. Oh, yeah, cold showers are causing heart attacks. Cold, now. Oh, and, uh, yeah, just the dumbest shit. Just dumbest shit. So my, what we were talking. Going to sleep before two o'clock. What we were talking mm-hmm. about. <laughs> is that, or fentanyl and touching a person. Did what you we were guys talking about that? earlier was like, that. Oh, what is that? I saw one like article on Twitter, like, oh, a cop touched somebody who was OD'd on fentanyl. No, that cop touched fentanyl. Like. That was touched George. it and OD. What George? Ford? I was like, what? The oh, fuck? I heard it could go through your skin. You're saying it can't? I mean, it can. I would imagine. Yeah, it that's could, what I heard. but, but I mean, like, but like it, had to take like three shots of Narcan to come back to life. Well, I heard. Well, here's here's my point. What I was getting to is like you're asking about flat Earth, and what we were talking about earlier is like they just at every corner they lie. I'm reading this book right now by. Uh, she was just, uh, she wrote this great book about the history of corruption in America. Going back to the 20s and how judges were bought off and, and district attorneys and all this. And people were propped up for the Democratic Party. And they've just, it's been corrupt since the very beginning. And the reason we get, when I'm going back to Flat Earth, is like they've been lying about everything since before I was even born. So... These are the same people that are telling us that we live on a globe. I mean, to me, it's the Occam's razor. It makes right. more sense. Occam's being black. They've been lying about us a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what blew me away about black people that were that were that were fronting about the the fucking shots. Like Tuskegee, does that word mean nothing to you? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't understand how uh, anyone can believe government, but especially uh, Hebrews, Negroes, colors, uh, whatever they're minorities. Doing. Uh, I don't understand how you would trust the government. Well, when yeah, they're pushing it yeah. so hard, like they were giving away uh, weed to get the vaccination, chicken you could get a yeah. forty ounce. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing right about the campaign. Like you don't, you shouldn't have to market something. You don't have to. 
They, they market the flu yeah, shot. Yeah, drug every dealers year don't too. have to work hard to give out their drugs. Never seen a billboard for Coke. <laughs> they Never give them seen for it. free. Anyway, my point is, 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 is it flat? Is it a globe? I don't know. But I can't trust a fucking word from these people that are telling us either way. Yeah, yeah. Then don't. That's, the I don't. Don't. That's one thing I wanted to do with you, Diaz, is get together and make some sort of uh, sketch, which is a fake ad. Like, what, how would a uh, pharmaceutical commercial look for cocaine? I'm oh, just yeah. writing the whole thing out. I think that would be fun. Uh, increased productivity. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Side effects may cause us schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the thing. Even the far, uh, pharmaceutical but companies publicity. right now, too. Government run. And they're selling sickness. Well, the big thing really fucked. The big thing that's popping up with with Twitter, I know there's like a main narrative that I've seen up here since Elon started dropping all this information, is that there has always been a direct line between the government and Twitter, and they're using that oh, specifically yeah. to influence oh, yeah. politics. I mean, Dude, that, that's whoa, the whoa, main whoa. thing. What about the fucking the drop about JFK and the CIA being involved, which we fucking knew that came out today, right? Yeah, yeah. dude, the CIA was in. The plan to kill a fucking president. Yeah, they, Boom. the CIA killed uh, Malcolm, oh, yeah. uh, Martin, and uh, oh, yeah. JFK in that Martin. same time frame. Martin Luther King. Oh. And Malcolm X. Yeah. Uh, they, they killed all of them in that same spot. They made Martin Lawrence go crazy. And here's uh, one of the, the CIA uh, did that. theories is that the actual shooter of JFK was no other than George Herbert Walker Bush. Working for huh. his father, Prescott. Well, I do. I, I wh- heard that the one. breakdown I, I saw that. was that the JFK. It was a double head shot. The driver turned around and shot him, and there's a sniper in the drain. And they it, had that plume of smoke on the grassy knoll to distract everyone. So you're talking about they it's asked funny. George Herbert Walker where he was uh, during that because everyone he was in the gutter like Leonardo and Michelangelo where they the, were when they found out, and he couldn't recall. Oh, he just couldn't recall. Everybody, because that's that's the thing too, right? Everybody knows where they were when JFK. It's like, or that was nine eleven for that yeah. generation. Everybody, I remember where I was. I, I remember exactly where I was when I found about ahead. Kurt Cobain. I remember where I was when I found out about nine eleven. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember where I was. I was, was in church during nine eleven. You spent a lot of time in church, Penny. Yeah, I did. You spent a lot of time in. <laughs> I did. <laughs> All yeah. of you. Okay. I'm a preacher's daughter. So am I. So. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. Are you a preacher's kid? I am. My mom, she's a uh, prophet. Really? Oh, actually, yeah. So yeah, preach is good for the Methodist Church. My father was Muslim, so uh, yeah. Oh, high five. Uh, very yeah, high five. By oh. uh, context, yeah. It's uh, a lot of porn stars, porn actors, and things like that are actually uh, PKs. Uh, Kate Morgan, I know. She's a PK. Yep, she sure Holla is. Holla at ya, Allah. And yeah, so uh, it's. Uh, Allah at your boy. Allah at your boy. Are you and, going this year? <laughs> I may. Uh, but I'm this, going uh, this year. Ago, I'm performing there. Oh, really? And like, like, do, uh, wait, like, where are you so, going? Performing yeah, or perform. like? I'm doing stand up. Oh, and, uh, that's rad. I told a joke about how uh, at all these award shows when they go up to get their awards, the, the first uh, things like a uh, musician says, uh, "I'd like to give honor to God first for allowing me to do this," and I was like, "No one ever gets up and I give honor to God for being able to take this dick or whatever have you," and they were <laughs> so offended. <laughs> Huh. No, do it. The blasphemy, it's because the... they all grew up in that. Like it was just like, yep. oh, like that was too far. And so you're was... saying that everybody in porn was so affiliated with the church growing up that they were actually still offended by a lot of them, yes. Yeah, yes. 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 some yes. of them are very so like. That yeah. That's right. Yeah, some are, some are still like some What's of the, the best girls I've ever fucked have been Catholic. Well, and Catholicism like, is paganism. I mean, uh, Christianity is actually paganism. That's Catholicism right. Is oh, gosh. I'm loving him and even paganism. more and more. Oh, mm-hmm. is this the first time hanging out with Diaz? Yeah. Oh, uh, welcome to Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do. Yeah, well, all the churches were based in psychedelics and birth rituals, right? It was, it was well, always, I'm a Hecatean it was always, follower. It always comes back to necessity. Very, very older. Not, I, I'm well, the manipulation of truth and uh, the uh, compromise of Constantine uh, when he became the emperor of Rome. Uh, his mother, I believe, was Jewish, or his father was Hebrew, uh, one of the two, but uh, and the other parent was pagan, or his wife. And so in order to please them both, he combined the religions. And so that's why you have uh, Christmas. Uh, that's supposed to be uh, Christ's birthday, which it is not. It's so inaccurate. But uh, that's why you celebrate with the Christmas tree, because that's a pagan god. It's a fertility god. Uh, and you do it with the lights. That's also a ritual. Um, if people actually pay attention, uh, 
in Leviticus when, after God gave the Ten Commandments and then uh, went up and he kept having to make laws because he was like, these people keep finding new ways to fuck up. Yeah. And they were uh, worshiping. One of the, one well, Zarathustraism the going before that, too. Do not, you know, the, the ornament of lights. Like, don't hang those lights up. Like, he was, there was certain, so many things that he was like, do not do that Christians definitely do. Easter supposed to be Resurrection Sunday. You know, David, David, fertility. Where, 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 no, David really <laughs> follows the uh, Ten Commandments. Actually, just number seven, thou shalt not kill. Yeah, no. I, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, although, I, I did. I used to. Oh, comedy fingers. Uh, <laughs> Good one, babe. Yeah. <laughs> but, still, uh, work, still working on it. But no, Zarathustraism <laughs> went back before that. I think that it's number seven. I just pulled that out of my ass. Well, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it hurt my feelings no matter what number it is. Uh, <laughs> existed uh, before Christianity. Like, yeah, no shit. They always, most of them existed before Judaism. Uh, yeah. like, Zarathustraism was yeah, one of them. There were already people walking this earth when God took fucking Abraham and was like, I'm going to make a nation out of many nations out of your seed. There were yep. already people walking around when God decided to change Jacob's name to Israel. You know what I mean? And have his 12 kids be the 12 tribes. Also, look at the Bible. Like, how many times has that been edited? Well, well, and it's a gov- like it's a political well, thing. Well, whenever people say that, how many times it's been edited, uh, the truth is still the truth. The it's principles. historical, However, sure. However, uh, but... uh, people can take the truth and manipulate adultery. it uh, yeah. for control and power. I'm not married, and, so and I'm that's good. That's what they do. But in actuality, if you actually do read the scriptures, there's liberty in it. And there's actual freedom. But there's, you can there are some good things truth. in it, like a, in any religion, good. like Buddhism. I or mean, all anything. Of it is good. And then, and the separation uh, between all the different religions and uh, the one that God decided to separate his people to serve was that, for the most part, and it used to be that way before Christ, was that you had to behave a certain way in order to obtain. Right, right. But after so, the death of, of Christ, it became a gift. Like, all you really have to do is just believe this truth in this fact. And accept it in your heart and confess it. And well, why and then, abide by something it. else? But, but And then after that, it's just to establish a relationship. Because when God separated his people, when he created us, first of all, he gave us choice because he, uh, the angels that are created are sitting there. Some of them just praised them all day long and all that. And it boasts them up. But after a while, it's like, no, oh, they were created to do that. But I can totally hear you eating that, that banana on one or two years old. And a relationship, yeah, a relationship. Yeah. When, uh, right. you, when someone chooses to love you, it feels better than when they're loving you out of obligation. And that dues to and any how, spirituality like that you can free. You can feel that with shrooms, with so many different things, too. Closer to well, but at right. the same time, like, yeah. so when biblically uh, there is demonics, yeah. demons. Yeah. And angelics. Yeah. I work with demons. I think and this... All right, this uh, has gone off the rails. Well, well, I'm no, sorry. Yeah, this can you, this, this, is, this can is all you... comes back to my, my whole, my whole like, spirit ecosystem theory that I have, where like when you die, your spirit goes off, and it's like in the ocean, and there's a bunch of things. There's all these big fish, little fish, so there's nasty stuff, and humans can interface with the spirit world as well, but we are a specific type of spirit, and the idea of religion in out of in necessity is to make is like a gym for your spirit so you're healthy and strong enough you can swim good enough when you do get out there that you can go to the right place and not get snatched up by a grouper or whatever you know and then there's other religions that interface with groupers I think at the end of the day, like we're all the same Kanye thing with West, a different he's a gay face. Fish. I'm too high for this. Um, um, do Ouija boards like? Like, do they, they say not to fuck around with them? Do they, like, let shit loose, in your experience? What do Ouija you mean? Boards? Open, boards? Do open they, doors? Like, uh, open doors? If you're, boards? um... Do, okay, do they work? All right, so, my dad did exorcisms and stuff like that. Because when the Catholic Church would not allow certain my things for, uh, you know, people who were not of the Catholic... He was Methodist. Um, he would go in and do it, and I was an acolyte growing up. Ugh. Okay, so mm-hmm. he would go up, and he said, never, ever take a Ouija board and put it upstairs on a wooden floor. 
because huh. it did work. If you do it on a wooden floor upstairs. A wooden floor upstairs. That's because specifically... it allows like the spirits to fly or whatever. I don't know. It was I was eleven. Huh. And uh Yeah, I wasn't allowed to play Dungeons and Dragons, which I don't think I ever would have, but uh, a kid in that town was playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I heard the same guy, shit about that. Where he was pent up on the wall and spinning and but it does, the town it does my work mind to pan down. if you are if you're in tune, it does work. And he's seen it work when I ask. I have a theory, but I'm a, a priestess. I have a so. theory about exorcism because I read like the real story of Emily Rose, that movie. Yeah, she made. was sick. Well, she was a well, sick girl. This is this is the this is the facts. So first of all, this is like whatever a hundred years ago, but the you know same year that they went to land on the moon, right? But they uh, so Emily, there was a farmhouse in Germany, I think, it was based on, mm-hmm. and and there was this girl and her three other sisters, four girls devout Catholics, all three of her sisters were nuns. She wasn't that into the religion. And at some point, for whatever reason, it may have been her parents, like, beating the shit out of her, like, rejecting it. Right. But they decided she was possessed by a demon. So they bring in, like, five male priests. They go in a room with this teenage girl and try to exorcise the demon. And then when they come out, she's all fucked up and dead. Don't you think that exorcism could possibly just be a cover up for them destroying children? Because I mean, it's not like the church. Because think about like how well, much they get away with. Church, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. 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 No the kidding. Church, yes, because they're not going to have the anointing or the power that it takes. But it does uh, take I a mean, certain amount of power. It and, really and, does. And like that's why uh, <coughs> on the other side of it. Fuck. There's um, also angelics that come through too. It, yes, absolutely. Yeah, they're and, uh, coming through your tits right now. Jesus Christ! That's why you have to. Um, also, my like, Sunday school teacher, teacher did my tits. Thank you. That's why prayer and fasting is so important and essential. Because of titties. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, and and uh, <laughs> dealing and fighting and, and casting out spirits because uh, and it's not just when you're fasting. It's not just refraining from the foods. It's um, what you're feeding your spirit, so you're not doing That's anything right. secular yeah. or anything. All you're doing is you're just feeding the spirit man scripture and getting rooted and grounded in the word because the word is life and it's yep. power in the word. It's the power in what you give the word mm-hmm. to. Yeah. What you word give any word. word will bring <laughs> you power <laughs> as well. <laughs> like, I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. So. Um, well, yeah, no. all of these, all of these rituals from all the different religions, they're all designed to k- help us to interface better with the spirit world. It's mind, body, spirit, mind, body, spirit, mind, body, spirit. It's always been that. You read a book, you Not learn always. stuff. You can also sell your soul too. Well, you that's, really that's, can. that's spirit. Though. Yeah, that's spirit, right? Yeah. I mean, so your well, soul, your well, soul is part soul. of it. Oh, right. so soul... sorry for all the actresses and comedians and L.A. and musicians that. That they're so bad that the fucking devil doesn't even want their soul. Like these people that want. Oh, don't you feel bad for them? Yeah, because they can't even. They're so bad. The devil's like, oh, I can't even. There's too much Dunning Kruger in there. There's no room. I mean, for I hate. sold my soul know, I... to Hecate, which is a Greek goddess, and immediately got the power. Oh, you wait. Are you saying you sold your soul? Of course I did. Wow. Of, course of course I, I did. Why would I know that? Yeah, way back when. So wait, so how did you do it? Down the farmer's I market. I was like, I, had, I did a blood ritual, so I gave, like, you know, a sacrament of blood. Sacrament of blood. And I said, either kill me or give me whatever you want. I sacrificed myself to you, Hecate. So is she the one that's getting 70% of your uh, camps? No, but she does own me. She does own me. And she gave me talent within a week. I was able to swallow a sword. Was able to do everything. Whoa! So fucking quick. You guys should lean into that because that okay, sounds so theatrical. So, when you and it was out of nowhere and too. So, like a trainer came in too. He so was wait, like, "Wait, who exactly has Andrew soul? S. just appeared out of a pentagram on the floor?" That's what the scripture does say. Because God never says that I am the only God. And people, Christians, are trying to make you. It's like many that faces. Thing. Many he faces. Says, I am the God of, above all gods. That's many he, faces is the same is, name. I am, I am. My dad taught me uh, it's many different faces with the same name. They all, like, appeal to different people in a different way. Well, because he says that there are but other But it's all, like, like it's a different power, guys. and it all comes into the energy so that we all feel. Krychek? What? Have you sold your soul? No, no, I have not. He has given me his blood, though. You hear that, guys? It's still for sale, going at a discount now. So you were able you to write brilliant jokes. You can pick it up at Savers or the Farmer's Market. 
So you were able to write those brilliant jokes without the help of Natos? Yeah, that was before. I was always an atheist uh, and a very uh, firebrand atheist. He was that. mean to me. He made fun of me. Like I for made fun so of all long. this stuff. I only got into. I started getting into. I know occultism and uh, Satanism and stuff like that. Just at the beginning of. 2021 around then. So your Satanism like doesn't overlap with Moloch and Baal. Oh yeah, here we go. No. Well, no, I mean there's certain elements of it Baal. that does, but uh, well because no, it's like not... that's that's like the shady children sacrifice molesting side is is Moloch. Right? Baal <laughs> didn't <laughs> always do that though. That's so wait, so you're like a Jack Satanist. Like He's a, a peaceful Mormon? Satanist. Yeah, I, I'm not. There's different sects of. I'm Satanist. not a social. Okay, He's I'm, a Rhino Satanist. There's a Church of Satan. <laughs> there's a Church of Satan, and there's the Satanic Temple, and uh, they're very different. I would be more Church of Satan leaning, but I still, so I'm not. Well. I don't, I don't yeah. really care for any. I, yeah, I, I, well, I watch well. these people and online and stuff. I'm like, I don't want to be associated with it, but especially the Satanic Temple. I've, they're just they're woke. It, they're infested with with woke. Yeah. Uh, really? Which, yeah, which is, they, I know. That's the yeah. one you know what's crazy. Thing. That's like Antifa. Like Antifa that's supposed to be anti fascist is the paramilitary arm of the fucking Democratic Party. Don't get me party. wrong. Don't get me wrong. At the at their core they're doing uh I like a lot of the stuff that they do, but it, like I said, it just kind of got infested. I still like, say like it's some right. other With things did. You know what I just heard? But you know What's the, the tenants their do? tenants are, are good, all well and good. I have nothing the against them otherwise. Do? It's just you know uh, just in heard. terms of that, it just so in, explain to them what the uh woke part is of Satanism. They want you to vaccinate. Oh, well, of right? the satanic temple. <laughs> no, no, no. no, they just didn't give me last It's not it's all of it either. You drink blood, it's got to be vaccinated. It's just blood. Blood. No, no, no. Because it's, cause it's, it's chewier. Ah, <laughs> fucking idiots. Go on, Jason. Hey, I heard something. I heard that Martin Scorsese used to be the head or the president of the Church of Satan in L.A., and then he stepped out, and now it's Jim Carrey. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? That's the I Church of that. Satan. That's the... But no, but, but no. The Church of Satan are very Well, different. I don't know. So, do you, so did, did you hear anything about it? There's a satanic yeah. temple in the Church of Satan. Did you guys hear and anything no, about it? No, that's not true about either of those I things. haven't heard that yeah, about that. Yeah, that's all. There is other types of Satanism that, that, like, he would may refer to that we don't really know if it's... Like Illuminati type of Satanism, just because of having this, any of this stuff in my profile at all, I'm always getting flooded with like Illuminati. Do you want to join Illuminati? They got bash hardcore on like Illuminati stuff. They've been trying no. to get me to join lately. They get Wait, everybody Wait, to they join. They contacted yeah, you because of your stuff, asking if you want to join. The, I think there's like bots and stuff like uh, that yeah, that are like, like oh, join Illuminati now. If they catch any of those keywords. Like, neck, oh, go on. No, I was just saying if they catch any of the keywords like yeah, Satan so, or anything like so that. So many loop. Satanists and necromancy people who, after he or people saw the <clears> video <throat> of me giving you a lap dance with squids, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, she's a necromancer, Cthulhuist. Mm -hmm. I was like, maybe she's just a big Lovecraft fan. Maybe, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I was mean? like, okay, no. Like maybe ACDC just likes loud guitars. Yeah, Good exactly. Rock and roll. That's all. She thinks she's a little mermaid and she's dancing with a fucking That's all. I, it, it has nothing to do dancing, with any of that. Dancing with the drag queen. Well, she, at least that's how far we've come where nobody was like, she's with that nigger. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's progress. Well, to be honest, like, yeah. it was funny. I thought, all right, so I'm have sure you're going to hear this. I mean, I song. said that. but <laughs> <laughs> It was good until a point, and then I got bored. Um, but I thought you were gay. The first time. Oh, yeah. oh, and I was like, oh, he's not gay? Because she'd never oh. met you before. She just only, like, yeah, kind of, like, kind oh, of briefly, like, talked with you. I was like, oh, oh, good. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you gave fashionable. Yeah, that's a really good lap dance, then. You wasn't that I was wearing that fucking uh, old girl's shawl with no shirt on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you were dressing like Kurt Cobain for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was a good fucking lap dance. That was a that's how you know Diaz is depressed. He's dressed in like a grunge sweater. artist. Uh, he, 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 like, I don't give a fuck. Let's see what happens. You were sad for a little while. Did you, you went through a breakup and you started dressing like Kurt Cobain. That was my... No, no that had nothing to do with the breakup. That, <laughs> that had something to do with uh, laundry. Uh, the first time. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> I was like, this girl left this little thing here. Let me see. And I put it on the mirror. I was like, oh, this don't look half bad. I can pull this off with this hair. And we went out and did it. It looked good. I was like, I want this guy on the stage right now, and I'm gonna put some squids on his dick. 
that was that was the that was the wildest lap dance I've seen in a while. It was a good yeah, that, one. That's, on, good that's one. on your Instagram, right? And Gotham's. you did well. Yeah, it's you on the uh, Gotham. She was like, "Oh, he's gay." And I was like, "Oh, this is amazing." Oh, this mm-hmm. is squid. <laughs> I love the the really wild squid squid. What are the, Where do you get the squids? Uh, at uh, uh, North Korea Town. It's very it's very dangerous. We have to go in there. Is it dangerous? No, honey. North Korea. I'm joking. Oh, North Korea. Uh, North Korea Town is where uh, we uh, film uh, our dirty how much porn. Does the squid cost? Uh, per are they squid? alive or do you get them? They're dead. dead. They're, yeah. Um, we actually talk I about me them. fucking like live <laughs> meals <laughs> individually. Before. And stuff like that. That is a different story, but um, that's a huge cock. Yeah, that's my horse cock. It's you the baconator. Oh no! Shit. <laughs> I God. do. I tried. Wait, what's that? I mean, mean? I fisted a girl. That's about. The- is that a fucking? It depends on your fist too. That? So fisting is a, a very horse, interesting a thing. Dildo. So how big is yeah, your fist? That like I got a nice size fist. Can that's you do I that? Guess- that's what a horse dick looks yeah. like, I guess. Okay. That's... I don't know. Oh, is that supposed to be a horse dick, really? No, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not on camera either, so people are probably oh, not. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's you guys are that. checking out bad. your hand sizes. <laughs> no, but it's. Why the little it's... knuckle is like the dem knock death punch. Yeah. It comes with heaven it music. It depends on what your knuckles That's a horse do. dildo? You can move your knuckles. like. Yeah, hold it up for the people. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. There you go. Yeah. Do you know, hire your knuckles. It's become sort of our, oh, our unofficial mascot. Oh, we're talking about fisting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was one of the first gay jokes I heard in Mississippi. They said, why can't gay guys fight? They said, because they think a fist is like this. <laughs> no, that's not the way to really <laughs> do it. <laughs> and then, oh, there you go. But De- you can, there you go, oh, God, De- debunking so homophobia. We're, we're, we are a pretty progressive show here. That's what I like about it. So we, we like we're very to, open. We here. like to tackle the tough issues that they don't want to talk about on uh, CSNBC or top whatever. Fish issues. Fish issues. Uh-huh. Uh, so we probably you don't think we went to the moon? I don't know, but I don't believe anything those fucking people say. Yeah, that's fair. I don't think so. Well, I, I, oh, I got one. Penny puts on fishnet panties to catch a date. Well, I Sorry think, about that. I think that they lost. <laughs> hey, you got to be careful with that because if you cast an internet, you catch a catfish. Oh. oh. Yeah. Love it. I think the the really sketchy part to me was that they lost all that data about getting there. Like, oh, we oh, yeah, lost like, it. Oops. Like, <laughs> the, the most it's gone. The most important, <laughs> important <laughs> moment. Like, okay. They still have. Uh, maybe it fell off the, the, the ship. Program? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole they lost the whole thing. They're like, oh, it's gone. It's like they blacked out. I don't know. They, yeah, well, I don't. They scrubbed I, if, it. They fucking scrubbed to, it. If I were to make a guess, or if I was, a, if I had a bet, I would say we did it. And that. I footage, lose stuff all the time. Why wouldn't the government? Well, sometimes I accidentally erase yeah, yeah. stuff. Have you noticed you're not running the government? Have we noticed? <laughs> There's different. But it's, it's it's made of people though. It so is made it, of people. People, yeah. Someone <laughs> fucked up, probably. Maybe. Maybe. It's possible. It it happens, but that's a pretty that's a pretty big fuck up though. It's just like that's like if we lose all the records. How many trillions of dollars did they lose before the World Trade Center? It's like if we oh fuck it was like um it was like eight it was like was it trillions? Yeah, yeah it was they a just lot. Lost eight trillion it was like again. eight trillion or something. They just yeah. lost eight trillion. And uh, then oh yeah, there's that, that. This just just happened that just now. Happened again. They just lost yeah. They, they just, just lost, lost it. Trillions. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. Just that guy anomaly just posted uh well, like four little just, memes. Uh, Hey, is crypto going to come back? Because I still got... Or yeah, is it, is but it, it's going to be government ran. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a bad idea. Yeah, because they're just going to be able to take your well, money and that, do all types of shit well, whatever that's, the fuck they want to. So if it all goes digital, it's social, social credit digital. score, right? I mean, that's the social credit score stuff, right? That's what we want to watch out for. Yeah, dude. When the government can just turn off your cards if they don't like your tweet. Yeah. Now you can't buy Oh, they're like they're doing over in China now. Well, they've been doing it in China for a while, that's right. right? That's why I said... That's why, again, with the Elon Musk thing... I don't trust them fucking uh, self-driven cars. Oh, yeah, they can shut those down. Yeah, you just shut shut it down or fucking bring it to the fucking camp. Now, all of a sudden, you're right there. I I read something that, that from, God, it was an early year, like, I don't want to say 80s, but, like, from this year on, maybe not the 80s, but, like, recent, any car they can shut off. Bruh, I've been telling people all the time, I was like, if you're smart, buy your old school... 
89 or something like that, right right before they started putting microchips in anything. Buy one of them old Yeah, I got a Jeep. I got a bro. 2018 Jeep. They, there's, they're not, not that I know. They're going to shoot you with a heart attack gun when you're driving on the the two the 215. That's what they're going to do. Yeah. They gotta, they, we got to shut That's Tino up. we got to get him. <laughs> George Bush Sr. is going to come back. He's going to be a cyborg, <coughs> like Robocop. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to fuck. cough so hard from smoking, but Co so COVID's <laughs> right dead, damn Mike. right? COVID, it was COVID. COVID was a thing, but it wasn't how they talked about it. That's, I mean, they're trying. They keep back around now. If you notice, you're paying attention. Well, well, they the have thing. like a crazy. Oh, you know why people are getting sick and why kids are getting sick? So because they spent two and a half years with their faces covered, so their immune system is bullshit. Totally well, that's fucking true. fucked. That's that, that right. That's why everybody's getting so fucking sick. The worst my allergies well, ever were, sick. ever, and I'm very like sensitive. Was after wearing a mask. Yeah. For like a fucking year, and yeah. I oh, went you did almost that? into. You did that? I, I had to. Yeah, not I. Uh, for the clubs I was going to. Uh, I just picked up a gun. But I was, I was going into anaphylactic shock. Mm. I came back home. He was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like almost dying. I was like, I'm not immune yeah, anymore. Not good just from you. not breathing in what you're naturally supposed to be breathing in. Oh, I feel sorry for the waiters and waitresses. Just, oh, what, yeah. eight-hour shifts with those fucking masks on? Yep. What really depressed me was the stuff with the kids because you have, first of all, they say, oh, it doesn't kill kids. And then they're masking up all the kids and shutting down the schools. But for childhood development, psychological development, socialization, right. all that stuff is so important for facial recognition. Yeah, humans we haven't are, seen the effects. Yeah. Humans we, we are probably. We've seen those for years. Well, I think we've seen the effects already because we've got like all these autistic kids now. Yeah. I mean, that's really what they don't know how to well, look in the eyes. Well, it's not just that, too. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Like, the other vaccines. Look at how yeah. they're going to grow. Like, look at how they build with each other and mating and like when they're up, right. like older. Well, Dude. that's what I'm like, saying. That's like, going to be fucked. Humans are primates, and animals communicate through body language and facial recognition way more than they do with anything else. I mean, language, spoken language, is kind of a new thing for, you know, advanced right. advanced animals. And it's not our number one way to communicate. It's all about that eyebrow raise. It's all about that the face you make. You know what I mean? It's all about, I don't know, there's a lot, there's so much. And then when you're learning how to be... A functional human, you take that away during the most crucial developmental stages. Yeah, and that's fucked. wildly toxic, and nobody talks about that. You gotta teach me. them yeah. like the old ways. Yeah, you smile. Where, like, you do, like I, what's the most important? Like when you meet someone, job interview, whatever, you smile, you look them in the eyes. All these yeah, very, yeah. these are fundamental, universal, and across the board since the dawn of time you know, ways like, is to there, connect. This seems to be an uptick. Is the amount of people that are autistic now, or are we just more aware of autism? I think... That's also a very good point. Well, like they no, said, okay, I, I don't know that much about... I feel about, like it's an uptick. I don't know that much about autism, but I know about ADD, and I think ADD is a total scam. I think it was just designed to... I, 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 I think so it goes... Ridland. I think it goes... If, well, to it, sell it, more drugs. Well, they the always... This is how you can I'm tell. I'm very anti-pharmaceutical. Like, you, you always thing. have a black market and a white market for the drug that's going on, and in the 90s, it was meth. And it was Clinton as well, and there and also you have cocaine, you have methamphetamine, you have Adderall, ADD, and you also have the No Child Left Behind, which shifted everything to standardized testing. His brother Roger and was the a one, dope dealer. People never talk about that. Bill Clinton's brother Roger. Bill Clinton was oh, a drug dealer. Oh, that's right. That's, that's, that's totally that was right. A Mina was it? Mina. Well, so was Hillary too. She Arkansas, comes from bootleggers. Mina. And basically, JFK and Hillary came from bootlegging <laughs> families. They were gangsters before they got into politics. And one of them leaned into it, and one of them did not. And we remember how that story went. I mean, that's if you don't think that there's, I mean, that that's the currency, right? It's black market, but they're farming black markets too. I mean, if they make coffee illegal, you don't do anything to help people. You just create a bunch of criminals that drink coffee. Yeah, I have you something know? to say. So that comes into like weed farms too. Oh, big time. And yeah. how is it like okay? So my brother has been my eldest brother. He's like grilla farmer. And off the market kind of thing, blah blah blah. So but he was talking about like yeah. how legalizing it has been a horrible thing for the industry. Tell me why. 
And well, it's just like well, Walmart. Just think of what Walmart is. Exactly. Did. And just selling <clears throat> it and stuff like that. Like, hey, like, you well, can Well, so still- what if it's horrible? Fuck, who cares if it's horrible for the industry? People, people aren't going to jail for it, so... Yeah, that that but at the same time, <laughs> it's hurting all the other people who are natural farmers and doing the things. Yeah, but they, people aren't going to jail for it, so it's a pretty good trade-off. I'd say. Yeah. But, but you're saying it's economically, but, farming illegally. Well, it is yeah, a it is a squirrel. Became legally. So that was. Yeah. In some countries, it would be just a normal thing. Like, hey, here's your prop. It's a squirrely area when you are trying to make a black... Because with weed, it was just supply-demand. Everyone smoked weed, particularly the demographics that were not going with what the government wanted, right? And so they just said, well, how do we make them all felons so they can't vote? And so on. And now it's just over... The the information is so overwhelmingly in conflict with the DEA's logic for the scheduling and keeping it illegal and everything. And it's fucking totally legal in so many places, including here, and it's not making society crumble. So then they're, they're saying, okay, well now we're gonna shift to something else. We're gonna shift to opiates. We gotta, we gotta pivot our business model because we're doing some different stuff. I was just saying that in the 90s it was meth, and the 2000s, I mean, 90s it was also, there's a lot of heroin, right? But it's got, the heroin thing has taken to the next, it's gone to the next level recently because we've got fentanyl, and then we have Afghanistan, uh, which we're no longer running, and that's what the, opium thing was all about anyway and it's almost like didn't after we left afghanistan those these uh these opium farms that they have where it's something crazy it's like 80 percent of the whole world's opium comes from afghanistan yeah and that's why we're over there for so long that makes way more sense than anything yeah, else yeah. if you just treat like a black market the poppy yeah. farms yeah wizard of oz right but they they but now who's in control of that because when we pulled out we gave it we, that's what we did. We gave it to someone else. Is the Chinese? China. That's it was right. China, right? That's right as well. Right. So, Chinese and, 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 and that actually don't go, give that, in to TikTok. That lines up to yeah. that lines up with the the Biden laptop and um, our government at the highest levels being attached to corruption with China, where it's almost like we're handing over our black market resources to China willingly. And so it's always like it's like when okay, so the whole QAnon theory that that Trump fucked up their plan, right? Had this four year crowbar. Where they, you know, they were going to do all the stuff that they're doing, but they were already so invested, they had to follow through with this plan. But they just had to do it when everyone's paying attention now, because mm-hmm. Trump talked shit for four years, yeah. and and then they very conspicuously went after him in a very weird way. I mean, it was I've never seen. I mean, there's always like, oh, we don't like the Democrats or Republicans. We don't like the Republicans or Democrats. Blah 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 blah. Trump was he, he changed the way people look at all this shit, and it was during the age of Twitter, and during, and so. It, it threw a monkey wrench, and so they're still having to hand over the black markets as the plan was, I guess, to China or whatever. This but will look uh, back on Trump's presidency, finally, when that threw out the mess of all this. Uh, they're going to look at him as a, a, what they were just saying, the, the uh, disruptor. Like, he was the disruption in their agenda. They just knew that Hillary was going to be in there, so yeah. she could carry out the evil plan, and Trump, for four years, stiff-armed him. Well, I think where we're at now is he's the, the what I heard a couple of years ago is that blah 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 Pelosi's going to be out Trump will become Speaker of the House they'll expose Biden and Kamala for the corruption and then Trump just as third in line just goes back in that's how the second term happens. Oh, you're talking about QAnon. Well, that's what that's well that's yeah. I'm saying that's what's shaping up now. Well, that's you what's know, getting into the position dude, right here's now. Here's the thing, man. I I think it's fucking WWE. I think it's theater. I yeah, think, I, I, I agree. Think, yeah, I think I think it's a face I, it's for a something class, that it's, is it's not a race Tr- war. Trump is in the WWE Hall of Fame. Of course, it's, it's right. WWE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all it's a show. A, it's not it's a race war. Coin. They got everybody. They not everybody. But they got people believing that it's a race war. No, it's a class war. Fucking Carlin said it best. It's a big fucking club, and you ain't in it. We ain't in it. I read this book, uh, Susan Branford called. Um, Royal Blood Lies. It's not very big, thick of a book. You can get through it pretty quick. And she just goes back. Well, I think we talked about this last time. She goes back to these families that are just running shit. And it's like that movie A Fistful of Dollars with fucking Clint Eastwood. <coughs> he's going back from this family to this family and he's playing them against each other. He's like the crow on the roof with the two cats. He's right, playing right, right. chess, Yeah, basically. so, so the, these families, particularly the Rothschilds, 
have been funding both yeah, sides of the wars. Been, been funding both sides of the wars. And then mm. there's people above them, names that I keep forgetting, the names <laughs> you never hear. But this shit has been going on for years. This is like the movie The Matrix, dude. This has just, been They go- just keep resetting it every 200 and, mm. what is it, 60 years, and we're at 250. There's like a number that all every great empire makes it to. And we're like 10 years from that they, fucking... And it, it's it's, that it's, it's right. not just our mm. nation, the, too. The, the, no, that's what I'm saying. The, 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 yeah, it keeps on, going. Uh, yeah. Uh, blew up. That there was a yes. That there was a banker yes. that was wait what blew up the Hindenburg. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. That was sabotage. The, uh, that was sabotage. Titanic. Titanic. There was a very rich man on there that they were trying to. Uh, that he was against the Federal Reserve. Yeah. yeah. And the Titanic. There was a few. There was a couple of rich people on there. The Titanic against, was the the, the kill uh, blow that consolidated yeah, all like, the. They were against. The uh, the 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 was, was anti New World Order, or whatever. Uh, fucking. Uh, Qaddafi wanted to, was he the one that wanted to make yeah, his own uh, yeah, yeah, Qaddafi, yeah, that's why we got him. That's why we killed him. You, hey, you, you fucking get off the dollar, you start doing your own shit, they're gonna come knocking on your door. They're Can gonna, you imagine? What do they, they call it? Unalive you? They don't even say kill you anymore. They, they, what's that? The, 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 I thought that was Just a like, t- uh, that was like uh, the whole Buffalo true. shit, that little shooting, uh, People act like uh, when people oh, say with a false flag, that it, doesn't, the, that it means that it's fake. It's like, no, it just means the shit was so set up. What's wrong with shooting buffalo? And uh, <laughs> that grocery store to get that black security guard. Well, if there's a buffalo at a grocery the, store, uh, you probably just get to shoot it, right? There. No, no, yeah. no. You yeah. invented a car that could run on fucking water. That's Which, right. And that would be the second guy they've whacked who's done that. Dude. I just saw a video on TikTok. The, the guy went through like 10 names or maybe like eight names of this guy invented this, dead. This guy invented this, dead. The one guy that did the water engine that was like, they poisoned me or they're killed. And then he died mm-hmm. in the parking lot. Like just example after example. That's a good point. We have That's had- one thing. We depend on TikTok for some of our information. <laughs> Dude, TikTok's like, got oh, some good shit on yeah, it, Yeah, but it, at the same time, you're looking at an app that, is spyware. Well, that's what they say. Spyware and it's a disruption. So how's that different than your phone in your pocket? (laughs) That's true too, but read a book. Like sometimes, like some of that stuff is like way deeper than Don't act like you don't look at your fucking phone. uh, Oh no, I always look at my phone, but. in the past. You can do both. The other stuff that's coming up is current. You know what I mean? Right. you're, You're going down the rabbit's hole and and that's the beauty of this age and also the danger. I never heard it pluralized, the rabbit's uh, hole. The fact that uh, there's so much information <laughs> out there and you just have to be smart You have to pick and choose. And, and you... do the diligent research to figure out, not pick and choose, do the diligent research to find out what is the truth. Right. You, know? and you have to go what? back and if you really oh, care you know about a doing certain your own thing. research is uh, white supremacy? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, Mackie, the black face. Truth. Or, that is something, uh, something but, else. Yeah, that's why Paul loves the Athenians in, in, uh, in the Bible, because after he preached to them, they went back and researched the scriptures to see if he was speaking was correct and true. And he admired them and loved them for that. And that's what, in biblical stuff, you love your neighbor, neighbor as yourself. Well, that should be the principle of my being, because then you wouldn't have all the bullshit that we have. You love your neighbor on cam. Mm. Oh, yeah. God, I do. <laughs> anyway, to get off Pizza. something. So so one of your guys' uh, next uh, tour dates. <laughs> oh, yeah, next show's coming up. <laughs> Diaz Mackey has a special on Amazon Prime. I do have a special on yes, Amazon does. Prime. And uh, I also have a comedy album on iTunes. It's uh, called Diaz Mackey and Night in Durango, Colorado. Tell me a joke <laughs> now. Night, night at the uh, what? Oh, you think you're a uh, comedian? Night in Durango, Durango Colorado. <clears throat> night in Durango, Colorado. Yeah, I did their live. Uh, was there one night? Durango, Colorado. I where the, where's that at? That's where, in iTunes. No, no, no. Where the hell's Durango, Colorado? Oh, the Four Corners. Uh, that's uh, the Four Corners of uh, what? New Mexico, uh, <clears throat> Utah, and Nevada. You just go. Okay. Colorado. You go three they blocks over to Durango. They have comedy shows at the Four Corners. Yeah, they have comedy shows out there in the Four Corners. Yeah. That sounds like a neat place. Dang it, Ray. I enjoyed my time there. It was, it was cool. I'm uh, supposed mm-hmm. to be going back, I do believe, in February. Did you talk to the crowd, like, figure out who was from where, if there's so many just states I did stuck not. together? I just went right up there? there and kind of observed the room and did my thing. Yeah. You were yeah, on the, you on the, around the time, like, a little earlier that day. And you on the, some shit. You on the stool the whole time? Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah. I do believe I was. You don't, do you, do you do, you do like, stand-up, stand-up much, or do you just yeah. do the stool? Um, I started the stool doing the stool, um. You said it's for pacing. Right. I said, yeah, 
I started doing it originally to pace myself because uh, I can talk fast. And uh, talking fast with this list, uh, some things get lost in translation, so it would slow me down. Um, and then I started doing it after COVID, because I would still stand up, but like when I was like really high or, or anxious or whatever, have it, I would sit down. And then uh, after COVID and stuff like that, and just me thinking that my jokes were really getting like really strong and I was just killing a lot, I started sitting down to test the strength of my jokes, to see uh, if the jokes could crush the room just like it would be if I was standing up putting energy into it and, and different things, and started seeing that it was. That makes sense. And it's really a, a cocky thing to do, to be quite honest. Uh, but then... It's a black thing to do. Uh, <laughs> but it also, <laughs> yeah. I, I've noticed... Uh, pulls it's a Mark Maron thing to do, too. Pulls the room in a lot. Black uh, people known for their cockiness and cocks. Yeah. Uh, where you can have a conversation uh, with the crowd. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I started doing it. Uh, Too self-conscious to rim shot yourself. Working the comedy store a lot in the OR. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. <laughs> You're like, man, oh, I wish no, someone else had no, said no, that. No, I want to hit no, the drums. No, no. Like, oh, the, uh, talking sorry. about big cocks. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I started doing it in, uh, in the OR at the comedy store. Tino, you done, that room. Tino, you done any like um, specials or anything? Do you have no, any like... No, uh, I got some videos got a lot of on, stuff. on revenge porn, but... Uh, Whoa! <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was. No, um, no, I just... Uh, so I had a really good recording at his room, but I have a fucking shiner, and it's only from the side. That's, that's when I fucking got a shiner. And I did his show. That was a really good recording. <clears throat> and then when I opened for uh, Ty Rivera at... The uh, Wise Guys, that's a 20-minute set that I just added it today that I'm going to post. It's a whole 20 minutes. It's it's, it's, it's in one do set. Do you go was... back and forth with, like, guitar and, and stand well, up? Well, I do. I, did, I think I did, like, 12 minutes without it, and then the last um, five minutes with... Well, it was 20 minutes, so it was about... Yeah, about six or seven minutes of guitar. So this it was a set I was, I was working on when I was in L.A., and then I went out with Sam and did it. I was working on the whole getting kicked on Facebook stuff. And then I added some new stuff in there. So I finally got that set recorded. It, it took me over a year because I wanted to get before I start moving on to different stuff. Because I workshopped that one set for like a year at the well, comedy store. Well, good for you. And, um, and then I was like, I got to get this recorded because I, this is the first time in eight, seven, eight years I've been doing comedy that I took one thing and then just ringed it out. And uh, I was like, well, I spent that much time. I got to get a recording. So I finally got a good recording. So that's 20 minutes I'll be putting out on revengeporn.com. <laughs> <Right. clears throat> anyway, so anyway. how big are y'all's dicks? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> well, as big as y'all titties. So, um. I'm hung like a tuna can. <laughs> Diaz, what do you think of Skippy's show? We just we just came from Skippy Sprinkle's show at the Three Sheets. I like it. It uh, was interesting, wasn't it? I was gonna go, but I, I there's to actually um, there used to be a show in L.A. on Sunset that that kind of reminded me of that same kind of a little setup and design. What's Three Sheets? It's just a bar. Um, yeah, it's off of like it's off of like a casino center, it's like bad. by by the Arts District. So what was he doing? Like a mic or a show? Yeah, he had like a he had like an open mic. It was like a. It was like an open. It was, it was a. It was supposed to have been a book show that I, if he was showing up, he was like, "You want time?" <laughs> That's pretty much what. It was. But it was just. The, it was. It was interesting though because it was. It was all of our friends doing comedy. I mean, it's still the same like crew, but it was everyone who liked Skippy, which is pretty much everyone. So it was a little more diverse group of people, and it was just such a small room though. Because you, they've. I did a show there for Chris Spring, and it was outdoors. That was small and, in here. That was a much bigger Wait, where area. Where is that? It's, it, it's, it's right. It's, right, over it's right before Charleston. It's right. It's on like you know. It's by the rebar and shit. It's like a casino center. It's like the arts oh, district. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's this bar. It's got you know they have a uh, craft beer and stuff. You know, it's a uh, three sheets. Anyway, it's it's one of those bars right across Charleston from the arts district. It's still uh -huh. technically the arts district, and on first Friday, Chris Spring does a show there. I think. And I did that one, but it, Skippy did one up in the little room, up in the top. But it was just, the, the, it was very, the bar is like half of the room. And so there's not a lot of places to sit. And we were all kind of crammed together. People were sitting outside. But it was still pretty cool. I mean, something something cool about that intimacy of cramming everybody in, uncomfortably yeah, it into was, a room. Uh, it was yeah, that's really called fun. rape. Yeah. It was, well, uh, Skippy, 
We're gonna get you then. I had some other people in there earlier that was more full, so it was uh, a nice little crowd in there for a minute. Oh, Sorry, right. host Gibby keeps stealing that. That's we, a freaky we, show. That's us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are streaming live right now on the Oh, yeah, I, I shared the live stream and tagged y'all. Okay, cool. Yeah, we are streaming live right now on the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can't do that. A little bit of a delay. A little bit of a delay. A little bit Titties. of a delay. Uh, there they are. Look at them. Give, it, give us a little shake there, Pity. There you go. Uh, that hair and those glasses, Diaz, looks like Spike Lee's sister. <laughs> Are you sure my Diaz, what was it like over in Russian prison? <laughs> <laughs> it was very hard. They made me carry forward it clothes. I see how they let her let him shave his beard before he got out. I, did you see that? I saw a photograph of Brittany Griner getting out, and she had a beard like <laughs> Osama bin Laden. Is that is there? I, then I, I looked know. it up. I couldn't. I mean, Google wouldn't have. But I didn't see that. But I, well, I the, the, the idea is the idea is obviously a dude. She seems very trans, right? So I, I well, can't wait to see all the testosterone too. I can't, no. I can't wait to see all the babies that come out of that fucking jail she was in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, right? I don't think she's trans. It's just know. a very. No, I don't think she's trans. I think she's a dude. No. We'll see. Not you don't think so? We'll see but in I, time. We'll see in nine months. Okay. Fucking. Tiger, I do believe. Oh, yo, I've got, I've got one. Okay, let's let's go a little more mainstream. Dude, you're not good at uh, spotting trans. You fucked a trans who fucking almost threw you in jail. And what? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Hey, I have uh, not. <laughs> that's a dude too. One, uh, Shauna and I never fucks. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh, see, that's why I didn't see the dick. I didn't realize how tall she was. I saw her at Skankfest too. She was like six three or something, right? She's a big chick. Yeah, because I'm six foot and she's. Yeah. Oh. How but, tall are you? You're you're six foot. Hmm? Oh. The magic, the magic height, <laughs> the magic. I once, the magic I, once uh, I once got dumped by a girl that was three inches taller. Uh, she said she just about had it up to here with me. <laughs> you say <laughs> dumped or know. dunked on? I got dumped by a girl that was three inches taller. So she, never mind. No, I got it. But both of them work. It was a real good it's... try. Go back and practice. <laughs> you better go back and practice. You yeah, yeah, we had never slept there. Michelle Obama. That was the whole. Oh, don't. Michelle Obama. Here we go. Let's talk about Big Mike. And Paprika. That's all I had to say, Tino. Oh. As soon as he says Michelle Obama, I say Paprika, which is. I'm, right. I'm going to cut you off. That whole thing is interesting. Because right? you definitely can't deny that a couple of times you've seen a flop. Mm -hmm. There's just no the pictures of her pregnant. None. There's a guy that said, I will give you like $50,000 if you can bring me a picture of Buck Michelle Obama with a, uh, being pregnant. Fact. Oh, what do you hear about we the, know. Her, her mother just died, we right? Know. And said, I, I and willed to uh, what, Michael. Michael. Her mother Michael. died Michael. and she was pregnant yeah. and she died. And, and, and in twice in interviews, Obama has called her Mike. Said, oh, well, me, and, me and Mike, I'm in Michelle. But at two different times. You know what I mean? This is not a... Yeah. You know, Freudian at best. Yeah. And? It's ridiculous. Okay, so we all agree that Michelle Obama is a man. All right, I guess next topic. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna, that bitch got Michael Phelps back. Well, th I was I was arguing my girl about this, too, because, um, you know, my girlfriend's black and I'm white, and so I'm the victim of racial discrimination for sure. Like, if you've ever her friends talk some shit, that's been my Are your girls thing. black, you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she she does not believe the Michelle Obama thing, and I, was, I tried to I, I looked but up you, some. You, you do kind of be like, oh, white people just being funny, but then when you actually do a little bit of research, you're like, yeah. well, what's funny is that I was <laughs> I, I I I was trying to write a bit. I like uh, this guy a lot more. <laughs> I was trying to write a bit about when I lived in Thailand, how you could tell the difference between a lady boy or a a regular girl, and I realized Dude, that it tastes like pee. <laughs> it was. It was even. It was even. It was, it was even more. Her dick doesn't taste like a pussy. Yeah, if their squirt didn't taste like. If their squirt didn't taste. If their squirt didn't. If it's like salty skittles, and it's like, all right, you're in trouble. No, it was a uh, chin, elbows, knees. Chin, elbows, knees. Because guys, they're, they're you got chin, the chin down. Chin, elbows, knees. Chin down. Toes. Guys, girl, toes. girls have the the head up. Uh, girls, elbows in. Guys, elbows out. And with uh, the knees, knees in with girls, got to protect the, the holiest of holies. And guys are like, let me get in the holiest of holies. And it's like, and those three things, if you look at how...
Ladyboys will hold themselves because they know. They also always have a hand kind of on the hip, like a gunslinger, just in case they got a, just in case they got a, they got a slip. You see that a lot. You see that a lot. And then I thought I heard a rumor of this conspiracy theory that Michelle Obama is a man. I Google image, just Google image Michelle Obama, and I saw all of this shit that I had just written based off my experience in Thailand. I got goosebumps. It scared the shit out of me, dude. And then, because you got so hard. Then I dove down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, and then I dove down the rabbit hole with my boner. It was which the rabbit's hole. The rabbit. Yeah. All right, time for Roberto's. Yeah. Are we about done? Are we? Are we fading? Oh, I thought you were done recording. No, we've been we've been gone. Oh. No, it's live now. <laughs> It's live. It's live, live now. It's on now. It was we, live when you were playing right. feedback back. We can keep it's going. Before we leave, what's I'm... your best favorite fetish? Number one. Go. Feet. <laughs> Feet? Feet? Really? Yeah. Tina's a foot Tino. guy. Tino. Oh, my word. Why, why are, I don't get the feet thing. Why is feet sexy to you? I don't know. I, maybe it might have been my... Uh, what girl's... Cub Cub Scout. Scout. What is it about feet that you <laughs> like? I think it was my Cub Scout den mother. Yeah, scoot that mic. She had one of those '70s vans, and uh, and we were going somewhere, and she was in the back, and I guess the husband was driving, and she had that plush carpet in the back, and it was like it wasn't just me. There was like four or five of us, and she took off her shoes and started doing uh. this with her toes. And I was like, you know, fucking walking hard on it. Like, I don't know how old are, was you in the Cub Scouts? So it was probably like 10. It's like middle school. Oh, so it was like that's, 10. That's like very hot. And, and I just, so I just remember that. And that's then I remember Miss Haybart, my third grade teacher. She was a redhead. <laughs> it's probably the reason I like redheads. And she would, you know how they're, they're, you can see behind their desk, their, their foot, their shoes hanging off their foot. And then she would drop it. And they had oh, like, so it's you who I have been having on cam. Oh, oh maybe, and then she's got she's got that like like that fucking wetsuit, thick Hooters fucking pantyhose like the old seventies eighties. Oh, yeah, yeah, the dark one. Yeah, the eighties. They're just thick. They, yeah. they look like they're waterproof. And I remember her toes in there. Mrs. Hayward, she was a redhead. She smelled like a fucking French whore. The fucking perfume. But I just remember those feet and my Cub Scout leaders. <clears throat> And so I guess that's why but, I like but, these. So, that's what, so that's when I watch what, porn and the girl's got a really nice high arch, hilarious. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah you, got, yeah, you got a nice high arch. I noticed already. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Anyway. And then they don't even know. You're ogling my wife all like, night, Tina. Like, there's, <laughs> dude, there's porn stars that they, like, that's another thing is feet. Obviously, like, mm -hmm. like it's, very, it's very masculine, big feet. But, like, when the girls that don't point their feet in porn, and oh, they just, God, I hate and they're that. flopping around, it's like the, the, the natural ones, like. What are you guys even talking I mean, about? I have a girl point, <laughs> point your feet. Point your feet in I don't porn. Feet at all. Oh. Tina, I have a thing for Christy guys Mack does feet. it. Christy point where Mack you want them it. to come. It, it, it's kind of like a Babe Ruth. You just no, they just, because their feet then, are so nice, no. they just naturally it's point. Just, Christy Mack does it. Yes, um, she does. Uh, and the Angela, what's her name? White. Angela the, White. Lansbury. She does nice too. feet. Um, a lot of girls, uh, Callie, Callie, uh, Callie Jane does Callie it Carter. too. Callie Carter's got nice feet. Like, just beautiful Fucking cute little feet. And they're so nice petite. They're they, like size uh, five. So my, yeah. qu my question would be like, what do you think imprinted you at an early, like usually when people are toddlers, right? We talked about this. You get into a fetish when you're a little bitty. So you might be like hiding under the cabinet and your mom's walking around in high heels or something like that, oh, right? Been, well, that's when I first remembered is the Cub Scout leader and my third grade teacher. So it, it might have been something before that. I don't know. jacked off. Have you had a foot job before? <sighs> No, actually, I haven't. Ooh. Weird. Um, my girl's feet aren't the kind that I want a foot job from. Um, She's always trying to give me one. She wants to do a video of it. I'm mm -hmm. like, like, I don't know if I can stay hard doing yeah, that I don't because think it I don't work. want it. I don't know. I think like, yeah, I don't No, it does because like, I have I think ballerina feet. Okay. So yeah. Show the camera nice. your ballerina feet. Um, can you do that? Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I'm well, not I trying to not fuck feet. Pennies, I like so. I like oh. looking at feet. I like when they're pointed. I like, <laughs> I like sucking a toe when I'm inside her, maybe. But I'm not trying to fuck the feet. Like I just like nice feet. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. an extra. In the yeah. same way, you're not necessarily trying to fuck the titties, but you yeah. do want them to hold on to. I like nice titties. Mm -hmm. What about you? Between them every now and then. Uh, What's your I, fetish? I fetish? Uh, pussy. 
Uh, well, no, a what, fetish. What's yeah. one weird thing That's, that you would like? The, I don't know about the weird thing. Like, like being tied up, or no, I'm terrified of that. <laughs> or yeah. a girl being been tied been up. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't want to tie a chick up. Uh, I've been charged. Uh, what is one? Per- <laughs> <laughs> what, what is one? What is one particular thing about a girl that you might like? Um, her armpits. My, Taste no. in array is so, it's always eyes. Uh, pretty eyes, pretty face, and then from their uh, their personality, but to be quite honest. Oh, good, you want to fuck their eyes. But, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I mean, just go for it. But it's, um, oh, yeah. it's a spiritual push the mic towards them a little. It's some usual, like, just, like, pull. Yeah, she ain't that asking I, about your spiritual I, connection, but I usually <laughs> end up finding out that they're like. No, that's actually a very sweet yeah, point. Yeah, either, because uh, I've dated a bunch of, with my Christian upbringing. Uh, yeah. I've dated a bunch of Wiccans, a couple Wiccans, pagan, uh, a fucking, um... They can say Wiccan. What do they call, um... My Wicca. Uh, the ones that talk to the dead, uh, the, uh... Neurosastrasms. What? Uh, psychic medium. Uh, yeah, mm. psychic medium. Whoopi Gulber. And so, yeah. <laughs> But it, it usually is... You know what's funny? Like my dad didn't believe oh, it. Oh, you like them psychic large. Uh, but yeah, the, and then I'm dating <laughs> tall, short. How dare you. Skinny, big. <laughs> it's a matter of like the... So but it my, always comes down to the my uh, sexual... eyes and there's like that weird spiritual connection that comes out of it. But it's like... You like, an, feel, but, like it's, but Diaz, you're saying like you ha- you like to feel that energetic connection like where you hit it off. No, I'm not saying like... Is that the what you're There's about? generally... There's like... It's usually like a real like spiritual like gift where I end up finding like oh like like they are a medium or I love feeling that uh, in the witchcraft or something like that and have like a you have a spiritual connection yeah, like, and yeah. you can come more thorough that way. It's not that has mm, honestly I'm not like about that during the sex, but that's what like that attraction is the the pull to me. For me, women. I don't have to come to come. So, well, that's yeah, one I mean, thing. I have to come and come. Uh, but that's male. So, yeah, for sure. But, like I said, going, it's going back to the eyes, like they have to have pretty eyes. Cause I love the energetic I connection like when they tase me. I love missionary. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can do doggy and all that stuff like that, but I prefer mish. Like, I want to look in your eyes and see those facial expressions. That is very, yeah. very sweet. Yeah. Like, Tino, you feel. <laughs> I like what about you, David? I like sexually. I like, um,. I like how my nipples played with. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> look, he's saying after his too. It does nothing for me. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't that's know. Like, what do, like what do you mean? They like, do they take, they take like Hot Wheels and do roll them around them or something? Yeah, <laughs> like with Legos. <laughs> yeah. No, it, when I when I was a, when I was a, going through puberty, my nipples swelled up real big, yeah, real painful. Yeah, we all did. Yeah, is, is that's everybody. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. that's breast cancer. Yeah, that shit hurt. <laughs> that shit hurt. But yeah, yeah, girls touching my nipples, I'm like, ah, just stop, just. Get yeah. Me. No, for me, it, it's yeah. I think that's it. It's if um, I don't know. I, I it's I. Is I, it just I, girls or anybody? Like when you were in a. When you're in jujitsu, or if you're in a, in a professional <laughs> fight, and someone punches people, you in the people, nipple, are you kind of like <laughs> people? Do, <laughs> just a little bit. People who don't do jujitsu do not understand how not sexual it is because it looks. Super are you just sexual. like I dare you to punch me in the like burning but, man. nipple again? Same thing. It's just you don't understand that you're trying not to die. You're trying not to get murdered, you know. It didn't yeah. have to have a dude right. fucking tap you and then be like, "I just killed you three times, bro." I'm like, "Fuck, he did." You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta fucking. I did okay, I just, well, I did I'll derail well. that argument. But I meant she has fetishes. a rape fetish. Yeah, so my oh, actual fetish. Rape oh. fetish. Oh, yeah, rape. Yeah, a lot of girls no. do though. Well, yeah, and of which um, means she I wants to be in danger of dying zero, while having something sexual, only. just like you just which said. That's what she wants. Because no one ever thinks about the men. And I'm like, oh, So before yeah. my accusation, I used to tell a joke <laughs> about uh, women having rape fetishes. And I was like, they should get all the uh, women that have rape fetishes and just put them together with Bill Cosby. You can make a game show out of it. Just like, hey, let right. me get that pudding. You know what I mean? Right. But, uh, yeah, no, I there love There are women that have rape feet. fetishes, which is weird. Consensual yeah, I rape. Love that. Yeah. I love it to death. I feel like there's a there's a connection. I can't. I is, don't do it because I'm like, what what happens? What happens if I like it? 
Well, the thing is, <laughs> I gotta, really, I gotta act like a rapist to do this. To do start, it, and one of them like, "This is nice." <laughs> and then we break up, and now what's the next girl? I'm like, we okay. have tried to do like, it. Can I rape you? We have tried to do it, to, and he is so strong to the point where I'm like, "Oh, he's cra- cracking my bones." And my ribs are bruised. I'm like, okay. Oh, that's not even with your yeah, rape fetish thing. That's, that's just normal standard, sex standard too. holding. So I don't I know. Like, I like okay. to grab a woman and just, you know, fucking Sex. use it. <laughs> <laughs> and she does. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. He, uh, he, uh, oh, word. We, like I said, the lightest <laughs> sex we had was actually doing anal Whoa. Oh. I'm always confused when a woman asks me to put my dick in her ass. I'm like, why? Well, no, we, we, don't normally, yeah, no, why? we don't normally do it. We don't normally do it at all. We were just, we're starting to try. They have some to, videos. The girl has to be so into it for me to even be willing to try. I'm so I, I'm not, I'm always, not like, down. No, I've done it a couple right. of times, but I'm usually like, no. But two girls I really, really like, I was like, okay, <laughs> you want me to. It's one of those things where you... Get, <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's gotta be... permanently can't use that one, so it's yeah. like okay, so do that. Let's start getting into it. And he was like, okay, let's fucking do it. And he was getting wicked hard. It usually pushes the the, the blood out of my dick back into my body when I try to go into an asshole. I used to, that's, yeah, I don't like it. Like, no. I'm like. Oh. Yeah, because if you fucking a woman's asshole, it's like, you can fuck the asshole. And then they're like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Thing is, I do it for a living, I though. Asshole. I hear so. they're like excuses. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's got them and they all stink. All right. I'm not like good at it, no. I like vagina. Yeah. I love uh, cream pies, bussies. too. That's my fetish. Is cream pies. Well, I'm into that. I, I, I heard there's that. a thing called a breeding fetish where you, yep, girls really want a guy to... Where a girl wants... The guy to finish inside. Desperately her. be pregnant. So I might, well, I, I might, I might have that. Time. I might have that. That's another thing too. She always wants me to finish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll tell I, you. Yeah, I do that. I'll tell you what's not a fetish for me: condoms. I, yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> not a fetish because I am going to. Finish Dude, I pulled out for so many years that when I moved in with my guy, with this girl, I started coming to her regularly. It was too much. It was. Yeah. It was because I was pulling out for so many years. And then when I got with this girl that I just leave it in all the time, I was like, it was too much at first. It like, right. I, it was too much. It was ruining the orgasm. It was so, it was so like so, in, no so intense. intense. Yeah, no that is yeah. fucking hot. I'm gonna write that in my memoir. Okay. <laughs> so, that was because I pull out. Because I pull it out. Because you pull it out, and you jerk off, right? You don't just keep, you don't just keep it going. You know what turns me off. Sex with ladies and their vagina when I come. That's, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the most masculine I feel, yeah, podcast I've ever heard. Yeah, I go beast mode and get the growling and her. Yeah, well, then I'm ready for another one. Yeah, well, when you're yeah. pulling out, twice. when you're pulling out for most of your life. All right, y'all are too excited. Uh, so anyway, you put the worst shoes, thing Penny, that has happened to you during sex. Uh, right. <laughs> Worst what? Anyway, Tino. <laughs> Worst what? Worst thing that has happened to you during sex. I don't know. Let me think about that. Like, did somebody put a thing in your butt? Yeah, hey, I know that. Or, this girl tried. Uh, this girl, uh, that she was a musician. Did somebody so take something really out fingers, of your butt? Player. Oh, mm-hmm. And she started, she started, we were fucking, and she, she was like going back down and go. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. But there was nothing like I, nothing that I could think of that was worse. I mean, like, what was the worst thing? I don't know. I, I, I can't think about that. I can't think of anything. Hmm. Think Nobody shoved a squid in your mouth or... We're, like, yeah, they, they, mine, but I let my girl, sex. I let my girl yeah. try to, I let my girl peg, try to peg me. Jesus. But, <laughs> but... Uh, it, 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 it was, I was like, oh, no, 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 this, no, no, no. This, <laughs> this is not going to happen. And then... It wasn't the worst thing. I mean, it's not like it. But it I wasn't the no, worst it's thing. Not. It's it really worse? not. No, because it, well, cause it the didn't hurt. Pro- I mean, it did hurt because I didn't go let her go that far. I was like, oh yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, what people don't realize is the prostate locate. is also a sexual oh, thing yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Jesus. Very I much so. To like talk it's a me second that. orgasm. I was like, fuck no. The fuck. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing <laughs> ASMR at this point. So, what about you, David? What is the oh, worst, the worst thing <laughs> that has happened to you Fuck. sexually? Like, like as in afterwards, I was like, I, I was not okay with that. 
like that. <laughs> she called the cops. No, it was. Um, I man, I don't know. The worst thing. The worst thing sexually. I just like. I don't know. You get laid, you get laid, right? I mean, I don't think I've had a lot of terrible experiences, really. I get because when you say that, my mind immediately goes to bad situations with the people that may have happened immediately before, immediately after the sex. No, I meant yeah. during the yeah. sex. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't no. know why I keep doing this. I've had. I, I mean, I've had those those IEDs scratch my penis up. That I've had that too. That yeah. hurts. So that's bad. Uh, that's, yeah, 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 that, that, that yeah. hurts. I've had my, I've had my, my I've dicks. definitely knocked one and broke one inside of a chick. I've had my, my dick scratched up by a blowjob by some sharp teeth. Ew. That happens sometimes. I've had a girl get on top of me and then just not move. I most said girls, yeah. I'm, I'm like, what are you doing? Honey, we don't have to me. talk like, about other, the I'm other like, night. I'm like, do you really want to? Because it's just... Terrapalsha. Only a couple get people it have. Up. Really? Terrapalsha was... Uh, this dancer uh, in one of the shows here in Vegas, she was on a big old billboard. Oh, she was gorgeous. Ate her pussy like I couldn't get it up because uh, I couldn't. But I was just like... Coco, do that. God. <laughs> I, could, I, I was like, to this day, I'm like, God damn it. I should have just like... I mean, I, I don't know. I should have had... I bet it was before... Blue Chew and all that stuff, but yeah. He was like, I should have got a gas. Couldn't too. do it. They say that the greatest trick the devil, the greatest trick Coke ever played, was giving you a, a sex drive, ramping all the way up to ten, and then rendering your dick completely useless. Is that what so. Coke does? Why is Coke? Oh, oh really? What is this Coke you speak of? I've never done Coke. <laughs> no, I've never done Coke. I thought I thought you like put it on your dick and it makes you hard forever. Absolutely uh-huh. not. Uh, I've done it, what? and uh, I'll tell you. Uh-huh. That, uh, yeah. That's like when people think that it, it makes you hallucinate. No, it doesn't not bug me if all. I'm really into the person. If, I'm, if it's trying to be like, uh, like it's a rush uh, situation, though, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like a quickie, like in the bathroom, a little quicker or something like that. Like that. Like, yeah, like, yeah, a yeah bit. Sure. But if we're just like, so Coke fucks you. I up. have one I other that. question. I mean, your dick. I didn't know. What that. is the difference between fucking and making love? The intimacy that you of it, and the, you uh, can, instead of just the wham, just abusing like. He has jumped all over, over this, that, that sensitive just, motherfucker. It made it slap and sounds and everything. Yeah. And the best sex is when you can combine a little bit of both. Yeah. It's always better when you like the person unless you totally hate the person. And the, totally it, hate it makes it What sometimes do you think making fucking, love is? Say what? What do you think making, making love is? It's like celebrating, it's celebrating a partnership, it. I do, right? like, it's, lectures on this, so... It's celebrating a partnership between the two people, you know? I think that's... That's fucking that's, gay. I'm uh, or uh, sharing uh, the physical You guys are gay. I'm going to go get pegged. Each other and also... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Devote yourself to one another. Yeah. In that moment. And, and taking that time to appreciate and all that, like, in that moment. And, and just take each other. Mm-hmm. Aww. Play some we're, we're all going to go take each other right now. Yep, we're going to go. We're going to take each other. What about orgies? We're going to turn the cameras off. Sometimes. We're going to turn OnlyFans live on, they're and nice. we're all going to take each other. Sometimes. Sometimes it can be weird. It's on, a journey, <laughs> on a journey to Roberto's. Well, Grace, you're the expert. I am Penny. How do you how do you define making love? Making love is just an irresistible, not lust, but you cannot not have that person inside of you. You cannot you not. Fuck it. Yeah, that could just be being. No. You can not making love outside behind a bush. It's also that. like that person in general. It's not, it doesn't matter what their dick size is or anything. You so have to have them fucking. inside of what? you. I've, I've had, had really... Sh- people where we used to fuck all the time everywhere. Like, uh, bit of a boy. The spiritual the thing is also a big part of it, too. But we, and that was fucking, but at home, you know, laying down but in the fu- bed, just, that's lovemaking. Just, you know what I mean? That, that intimacy and taking time. Just fucking and lovemaking is one thing, but to have that beautiful one moment where it's like ecstasy and better than that. I've had really strong sexual connections with people I know very little about. You know, like mm-hmm. we, yeah. we we hit it you off, can. and you you feel that that you feel that connection, whatever it is, the energetic, energetic, hormonal, whatever it is, and it's like this. And then there's other people you meet where you're like, that is not how I feel about them at all. It doesn't matter what they yeah, look like. Absolutely, doesn't matter. But I mean, also, it could be very hard to fall in love with that person if you get to know them as well. I mean, that happens too. Sometimes you have a just a fire sexual connection with yeah. somebody 
that you don't really you don't have a lot of interest in. I them. got one of those. Yeah. 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 That happens. Yeah. I don't Scroll, know, like dude. this, but because it's not really binary, right? It's not like <sighs> fucking or making love. It seems to be like a spectrum, like a you lot. You can of make stuff. love without having sex. Who's does anybody does have a? Work? Does anybody I have? I believe a, you can have a conversation. We're not and make recording, love. right? We're not recording. No, yeah, we, we were streaming live. Are we still live? Yeah, yeah. we were streaming. You talked to Buck and Peg's love. <laughs> 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 well, I don't care about that. I don't care. About, yeah. I don't care about that. It's <laughs> <You're> just still live. <laughs> Sorry, I had to ask, like, some questions. (laughs) Dolphins, what do you have to say? Uh, I have to say that I'm agreeing with Tino on Roberto's because I'm very, very hungry. Oh, yeah, Yeah. I want to go to the dirty dude. We are. Oh, yeah, well, we're we're at about, it's uh, 1248. It's almost pushing 1 o'clock. We've been going an hour and a half. And a uh, pretty pretty solid freaky Friday for late night. We didn't, after. we didn't really do nothing freaky, but uh, yeah. We talked about all the freaky stuff Except though. Except for I mean, you eating uh, some Robertos off my body later. Okay. Or you, my butt hole. or you, eat, or burn you, you with the cheese. Or you eating that banana? <laughs> or you? Wait, eat, I thought we were done. I was on my phone and like I wasn't even paying attention. You, we, we, we were going. We're still going right now. We just yeah, we're still time. alive. Still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm switching the cameras around. I'm like, oh, Tino's on his phone. He's, you know. I thought we were done at, earlier before. Nope. I thought we were done. No. <laughs> and you guys like, wow, like, there's a, I'm on the did you, watch did you, list. Are your ears getting hot? Did you say something? <laughs> you want to say? No, no, I thought there was something. I, when, my, oh, when I said Roberto's the first time, I thought we were done after that. Yeah, you were picking oh. your eyebrows live, all that stuff. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> you can go back and watch it all. Uh, well, I mean, also, like, like, we have the Freaky Friday, January the thirteenth, right? Yes, that's our uh, Friday the thirteenth. Yeah, 13th. Friday the thirteenth. Friday the thirteenth. We're gonna do come wrestling. Oh, we're gonna we're well, gonna have a. Later. So we're talking about doing a podcast, but also having sort of a house party, right? Yeah, that's yeah, the idea. Like that, like some of the my, previous I guests. I really to keep my hair on my eyes. <laughs> all right. I'm a headline and promote that that uh, night. Oh well. Friday, wow. Well, you can watch that. us. A black man in Pahrump on the Friday thirteenth. Well, you can watch us streaming live then from Pahrump on the watch Paprika us podcast. All the fun. We can do that. We can set up. Fire in my face. So we can have a lot. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Tino, uh, any? Go ahead and go ahead and uh, you know. Bye. Toss out. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Tino saying. <laughs> Catch my special on Amazon Prime. I'm company funny. The. Uh, Night in Duran, Colorado on iTunes. After party with Diaz, Mackie, and friends on Spotify. And come to the backyard, VIP section on Thursdays, Henderson Street, 117 South Warriors. Hey, that's cool. Penny Poison. Hello. Go ahead and, uh, th- we're, we're, uh, I don't, what do you call it in showbiz when you're ending? Sign off? Sign off, yeah, sign off. Money shot. Sign <laughs> off. Yeah, Here we go. That's all you got to do, really. Follow Penny Poison right here, uh, and if you ever get a chance to see the uh, squid, squid, uh, squid, squid, squid sedent. Well, it's not the fish. That was a nickname. Squid catastrophe. Anyway, check out Penny Poison when she, when she does her live show. You'll never be the same. It's it's <laughs> great. It's a great show. There's nothing like it. And uh, of course, Gothens. Hi, my are. name's Gothens. Watch my show that you're watching right now when it's on. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff, there guys. Enough. And I am David Hollywood Hewlett. This has been the Paprika Podcast. Freaky Friday. Thank you for joining us. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next time.